Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick from All About Tech. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create an Xbox Game Pass platform and how to import your Xbox Game Pass games into LaunchBox Big Box. I'm gonna show you how to import the games themselves and I'm gonna show you how you can create the platform so that you have some media if you have it uh, to put in there as well. So. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. I hope you like it. If you do like this video, make sure you drop it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Right guys, so here we are in LaunchBox Big Box. As you can see here, I've got all my platforms to the left hand side of me. I've got my categories uh, and then within that, I've got the platforms themselves. Um, as you can as you can see the computer one it only has windows there's no xbox game pass here um so what we need to do first is we need to create the xbox game pass platform itself and then we can start importing our games so if you click on the little three uh hamburger menu uh icon go into tools and manage platforms then once this opens up, as you can see, we've got all of our platforms here and there's no Xbox Game Pass. What we want to do is we want to add, we want to give it a title, so Xbox Game Pass. If you want to name it slightly differently, you can. When we want to scrape, we want to scrape it as Windows because obviously all these games are Windows based games. Um, they're all, most of them are available on Steam, etc. So when we try and scrape um, the games, it will try and scrape from this library from the database. So hopefully we'll get some, some artwork and stuff for our games. Now, in terms of, uh, of developer and stuff, you can put, if you want, Xbox Game Studios. This is just what appears at the bottom of the screen uh, when you're in LaunchBox Big Box. And then I'll just put Microsoft as the manufacturer. And then that'll do me for now. I don't need to do anything else. Um, in terms of images, we're not gonna do it just yet because we need to press okay to create the folders within LaunchBox because I like to have all my files in one place. So click okay. And now, as you can see, we've got Xbox Game Pass here. As you can see here, Associated Games is zero. And because the Associated Games is zero, once we close here, there's still not going to be an Xbox Game Pass uh, platform here. What Basically, what we have to do is we need to import our first game and then it will appear because it will only show platforms that actually have a game inside of it. But what I want to do quickly is I want to open up File Explorer. I want to go to where your LaunchBox folder is. And as you can see, if I go into say videos and then go to platforms, we should now have, actually you know that's not a good example because this just has the videos of all the platforms. But what we need to do is if you have a video to place in uh, LaunchBox Big Box. If you want there to be like a video or something, this is where you'll put the video. So here, I'm gonna place my Xbox Game Pass video. This is just uh, the uh, the trailer for the top 2019 games. I thought it was a really good trailer and I thought it looked really cool on the machine. Um, obviously, all of these videos and stuff for my games they're all like official trailers, so I can't provide them to you um, because that would be, I, I, I don't think that would be right. Um, I'm just using these for my personal uh, experience, but you can you can use whatever trailers you like or, or, or whatever, as long as you're not like selling arcade machines, etc. It's for your own personal, that's absolutely fine. Um, what we want to do as well is come out of the videos and go into images then we'll find our platforms folder again and we'll find our new created Xbox Game Pass folder 
and as you can see it would have created all these folders for us this is why we didn't add the logo then um, or add the video beforehand because the folders weren't created if we go to clear logo as you can see there for some reason it's already there I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I, I deleted it but oh well as you can see here that's the one that I would put in there it's already in there so that's fantastic so now what we want to do next is we want to start importing our game library to uh, launchbox so what we need to do is we need to open up your Xbox app and I'm going to show you that I do have a list of games that I want to uh, import to launchbox as you can see I've got carry on Halo Master Chief Collection Street of Rage 4 Blair Witch my friend Pedro uh, Minecraft Dungeons and State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition um, for this example I'll do the first game and then it's literally just repeating the process but what we want to do is we want to make sure that these games are installed and ready to play um, note that with Halo the Master Chief Collection it's very weird because it's four games in one if you install it via Game Pass make sure you go into the uh, into the Windows Microsoft Store and and finish the install there if that makes sense for some reason there's like an extra 18 megabyte um, which basically activates all the games um, otherwise you won't be able to play anything even though it's fully installed it's very strange but what we need to do is we need to create shortcuts of these games and in order to access the application files for these games you're going to need to run a command because this folder isn't usually available uh, in the normal C drive. So you want to uh, type run in the Windows search bar and, uh, and hit enter and it will bring up this run command. And now you want to type in shell colon apps folder, click OK and it will bring up this uh, this folder here which isn't usually available. Now, what do I want to do? I want to create shortcuts of all of my games. So, what I want to do is I want to right click on one of the games that I want to import, create shortcut. Do you want to do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Yes. And basically do this with all of your games. After you've done that, you can now close this. Uh, you can close the Xbox app as well. And as you can see here, I've now got all of my shortcuts for the game. And what I want to do is I want to highlight all of my games, all of the shortcut links, and I want to drag them into Launchbox. Now, it will ask you what type of files you're importing. They're not ROM files, they're not MS-DOS games, they're none of the above. What's the platform? This is where we find our Xbox Game Pass platform. And we want to scrape as Windows. We want to move the files into my Launchbox Games folder because you don't just want a bunch of shortcuts on the desktop, you want it to be nice and clean. So, And all this is going to do is move those shortcuts. So click on move, next, highlight whatever media you want to download. You won't actually find any, um, any art as of yet because of the file name of that shortcut. Click on next again, wait while we're passing the files. And as you can see, all the names of the games have shortcut on it because sh it, the file is a shortcut to the main game. What we want to do is we want to finish and let these games be added into uh, Launchbox. And then we're just gonna edit the, uh, edit the name of those games so that it then finds a Launchbox database 
based game so that we can download all our artwork etc. So here we are, seven games were imported successfully. Click OK. And what we want to do now is, as you can see here, I now have Xbox Game Pass as a platform. As you can see, it's there. If we click on it now, we've got all of our games here. But as I said earlier, there won't be any artwork because of the uh, naming of the file. So on each game, just edit, get rid of the shortcut, then search again. And as you can see now, we have a database uh, link to Launchbox's database for the game Carrion. Make sure that this doesn't change, Xbox Game Pass. And then you want to go over to Media and download Media wait for it to query and then click download and then OK and then just repeat the process for the rest of them And here we are, all of our artwork is now downloaded and uh, and basically just makes makes the whole experience for Launchbox so much better because there's because we have all the uh, all the data we've managed to successfully find um, a database entry for every game on our list. So we're technically done. You could technically now launch Launchbox Big Box and have your platform there ready. Um, what I want to do quick is, because I like to have videos of the games, like a preview of the games as well, what I want to quickly do is add videos for these games. Um, sometimes you'll find games that have videos on if you have a membership to eMovies and you can find videos from eMovies of these games. I have an account, but for some reason they don't they don't ever find PC based games. It's only the older emulated stuff. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go back to our launch box, our launch box uh, folder, and now if we go into videos. and go to Xbox Game Pass. This will be where you add videos for your games. Now, again, I have a bunch of videos here. So I'm just gonna select all of my game videos. I don't want the Game Pass one, I've already done that in the platform folder. And we want to move them over. We are completely done and what I'm going to do quick is minimize, minimize, go into launch box again and now I'm going to launch launch box big box and um, I'm going to have the sound turned off just because there's music and all these videos etc and I don't want to get a, a copyright uh, strike on the channel. Uh, so as you can see, Launchbox Big Box has opened, and as you can see, we can go to the Xbox Game Pass wheel now for the platform. As you can see, there's a cool video behind it. Uh, this is the official 2019 trailer for the best games for Game Pass. I just thought it was a really cool one. If we click into it, as you can see, all of my games are there with artwork, with logos, and with those videos as well. Um, if I take a game and uh, and launch it, um, let's do State of Decay 2, let's launch that game um, and as you can see it will start the loading process and in a moment it should open. There we are, so the game has fully launched 
Um, I'll take you into the menu. And as you can see, the, uh, the, the, the game has loaded absolutely fine. I can go through all the menu system, etc. Um, and, and, and yeah, it's just a really good way to, 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 to play your Xbox Game Pass games on PC. Because it requires basically no input from a mouse and keyboard once it's set up. You can just use Launchbox, Big Box if you have a controller. Or if you have a, uh, an arcade machine like this. Um, and as you can see, oh, I've got all my games here, absolutely fantastic, and uh, and that's it, we are completely done. So that's it guys, that is exactly how you can create your Xbox Game Pass platform and how to import your games. As you can see, it's such an easy, easy, easy way to do it, just creating shortcuts of your installed games and just importing those. It's a very simple method to do. And I really hope you guys enjoy having your Xbox Game Pass library on your LaunchBox Big Box experience. I've already been playing some games and it's been absolutely fantastic. So I've been Mick from All About Tech. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any cool future videos like this one. Comment down below your thoughts as always. And I'll catch you guys out in the next one. Peace.